here is the answer we got I didn't do so far for um, um, year two I think I'm not sure where we're at but I think most of you understand how to do this from the look of the class okay so here is um, this one I won't do three I'll do six um, I'm going to make, I'm going to always make the smaller coefficient, the number next to the variable is called a coefficient, the smallest coefficient, which is negative 5. Um, I'm going to always look for those and make them equal to 0, if possible. That has worked um, good for me so far, so it doesn't really matter which one you make 0 here, really. Let me, let me do to the top then, so I don't have to rewrite. So I get positive 5x plus 7y equals to negative 13. So if that's the case here, yeah, I get 0 here and 0 here. And 8 and 13 is not 0. So 0, well, 0 plus 0 is 0. 0 plus 0 is 0 equals to... Um, 13 minus, that's negative 5. So 0 is not equal to negative 5, therefore it's no solution. That means these two lines will be parallel. That means these two, if you solve it, the slope will be the same. Um, it's for the order to be parallel, no solution, because the line will be parallel. Um, no solution, this means, means, the two graph, this, this is graph one, graph two, the two graph will have, will never meet, will be parallel. Use the word parallel. Um, that's a math term. Meet is not. Will be parallel and never meet. So that's why it's no solution. Okay, so if we look at, let's see, I think you guys know how to do this, make the three, the y, eliminate the y. Um, I believe you know how to do this too. You're going to use substitution, you use elimination because both are in standard form. I forgot to do that. Use elimination because both are in standard form. Because tomorrow we'll ask A, would you use elimination or substitution and why? B, or something like that, if I do ask. I may not. I may just let you choose and you know you know what to choose. You need to choose elimination here because um, they're both in standard form. You need to choose substitution. That means, I think, I believe all of you know how to do this now, 2x plus 2 equals to negative 3x minus 3. Now, make sure you know how to do, in the middle of this, make sure you know how to do these word problems. I'm going to have one of them um, on the test, okay? Um, that you know how to do these. I went over them in class today, so not these two, but the other ones. I expect you to be able to set up in the equation and um, solve it. But I think you know how to do all these. I'm not, I don't think there's anyone you don't know how to do, so I'm not going to record anymore. If you have any question, email me and I'll try to get it back to you as soon as possible. But none of them look that hard. So this one here, you need to multiply this one by 5, negative 5 to change it. 10 so you can eliminate, okay? That's it.